Halloween can, of course, be a stressful time for everyone, but let alone for people who may have autism. Yeah, but a new and developing trend is helping both those with autism and helping to spread awareness. News Channel 9's Julia LeBlanc spoke with a professor at Upstate. She joins us now live to tell us about this trend and, and what a lot of people are doing to help out here. Hi, Julia. Dan and Jennifer, you may remember these teal pumpkins circulating the internet over the last few years. They're teal buckets. It's a way for trick or treaters to signal to people that they have an allergy and you may need to be careful about the treats that you're putting in here. But there's a new trend this year, so new that in the five stores I traveled to yesterday, I couldn't find them. Blue buckets. Now, that's a way for people to signal to people that they may have autism and they could be sensitive to things like bright lights and loud noises. They may also be nonverbal, so you may need to rethink. Your traditional routine of having to ask the kids to say trick or treat before handing over the candy. Halloween can be an overwhelming time for those who have sensory issues, and a doctor we spoke with at Upstate says this new trend could possibly make the experience easier for those families. If you're at your house and a kid comes up with a blue pumpkin, that sort of signifies, okay, this kid, maybe I have to change my expectations a little bit. Maybe I turn on the front porch light. Maybe if I see a kid coming, I turn off some of the scary kind of motion detection things that, um, you know, really might be um, very overwhelming to the child if they come up to your door. Now, Roan says not only will these blue buckets possibly make Halloween easier for families with autistic children, but it will also promote a sense of inclusivity so that everyone can have fun on Halloween. Live in Brewerton, Julia LeBlanc, News Channel 9. Yeah, thank you, Julia. Uh, the only thing that's going to kind of put a